Oh, the Packers lost another wide receiver. <laughs> I should have held my nose so I drowned. Nation. Welcome to an episode of Packers, the podcast where you don't have to be a Packers fan, but it sure does help. I'm your host, Tom. Tomorrow, I'm legit putting out a video auditioning to be a Packers wide receiver, and it's going to be amazing. Grassi, and yes, Devin Funches has opted out of the 2020 NFL season. Mere hours after I put out a video claiming that no Packers yet have opted out of the 2020 NFL season. Isn't life grand? Now for Devin Funches, again, this is very important. We cannot blame any player for opting out. Devin Funches' case, he has family members who have been impacted by COVID, and even if he didn't, it is their prerogative to choose their health over their profession just like it should be anybody's choice to choose their health over their profession. I know that's not the case, but, you know, in a perfect world, that would be that. So Devin Funches' contract would roll over to next year, so the Packers still have the decision to retain him if they would like to. To answer a question that has already been posed to me a million times, does this mean that we have cap room to sign Everson Griffin? No. Devin Funches wasn't really signed on a mega deal contract, so it's really not freeing up a whole lot of cap space, and so it's really going to have minimal impact on the cap itself. The sad thing about this is that Devin Funches, this was kind of like his prove-it year, considering that obviously he had his career with the Panthers, and then he went to the Colts for a year, and he got hurt, and so he's still a young guy, and this was his year to be like, okay, look, like, I can still do it, sign that prove-it deal for not a lot of money, and let me go show you what I can do. And unfortunately, he's not going to be able to do that this year. So what does this mean for the Green Bay Packers receiving core? Well, it means that I'm still going to get DMs saying, I told you we should have drafted a wide receiver in the draft. Thank you. I appreciate that. Very astute. So this basically means we're rolling with the same crew that we had last year, which, you know, obviously wasn't so bad since we went 13-3 and three and made it to the NFC Championship game, except obviously we got in Bagleton from the CFL and we got Stewart off of the undrafted free agents. So right now, this is what our wide receiving core looks like. We have Devontae Adams, Alan Lazard, MVS, EQ, Kumaro, Darius Shepard, Malik Taylor, Bagleton, and Stewart. So what does this mean? Well, it means it's lizard season, baby. Alan Lazard, who we were already talking about, is probably going to be the number two guy. The door is now busted wide open for him to take that number two spot. Hopefully, he can take that leap this year. And it'll also give other guys opportunities on the roster. So, for example, if we were worried about, like, Shepard or Bagleton or Taylor not making the roster, this just freed up a spot for them to potentially do that. Now, I don't think the Packers are in grave peril here because, if anything, I think that this crew will do better than they did last year coming into Matt LaFleur's second season. You also have Jay Sternberger coming off of injury who will be efficient in the passing game. You still have Aaron Jones who will be effective in the passing game. A.J. Dillon is effective in the passing game. Basically, what I'm saying is, we don't need a wide receiver, but again, we are putting a lot of stock in the guys that we already have. Now, would it be the worst thing for the Packers to go out and get a receiver? No. The guy that I would love for them to call is Taylor Gabriel. He's still available. Now, I'm already getting DMs about Antonio Brown or Josh Gordon. If I had to go between those two, it's Josh Gordon all the way. I don't think there's any chance in hell we're bringing in AB. But I don't know what kind of shape Josh Gordon is even in. Obviously, they're just like, don't worry about the marijuana anymore. But... Again, you know, Josh Gordon, I don't know if he is ready to suit up and play football at this time. So basically, this kind of just follows the theme of the 2020 Packers. We didn't regress. We didn't get any worse. But the question remains, did we get better? And honestly, only time will tell. We'll see if any other players decide to opt out. This is the first for the Green Bay Packers and hopefully the last, but... It's going to be a long week. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. You can always find me at TomGrassyCompany.com or at TomGrassyCompany on all social media. See down below. Check out podcasts on SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play Music, Spotify, and of course YouTube. And a big shout and thank you to all the patrons over at Patreon.com slash TomGrassyComedy and the YouTube members. But thank you so much for watching. 
I'm Tom Grasse. And as always, go pack go. Go pack go.